So, Mom, are you you okay after yesterday's video? <laughs> yes, I'm okay. Why would I not be okay? <laughs> I mean, you lost really bad. But I beat you in your car. <laughs> sure, sure. You guys want to see some magic? Kabam! So you want me to do the magic trick in here so this is all clean? Yes, please, when it's clean. Too bad. Why would we clean this house? It might not be ours. You still have to clean it if you're going to sell it. Uh, I forgot. What are you doing, huh? You're never at home anymore. What are you, a grown woman? I was only gone for a week. I was only gone for a week. Taylor, it felt like a month. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to go play with my real friend. <laughs> What's up? What's good? Huh? Oh, fine, fine, be that way. So I'm guessing a lot of you guys are really confused when you clicked on this video and you're like, why would you ever want to move out of your house? You have like an amazing setup with the nasty foam pit and the two trampolines. There's actually a third one on its way. I used to have three. Actually, I used to have four. Basically, there's just a lot of problems with where we live right now. For one, my address has been leaked for months, okay? We have a lot of people showing up. Just last night, okay, I was backing out of my driveway to go get McDonald's at midnight. And my car beeper thing, you know? Whenever you're backing up, you know, if you get close to something, your car beeps. Well, mine did that. I was like, what the heck? Nothing's behind me. The tree's all the way over there. My truck is over there. So I was so confused. There was a person behind me, okay? I was like, what are you doing? Like, I almost hit them. There's actually a problem with selling this house. I don't know how many people want a house with a freaking giant hole in the backyard with nasty foam. I mean, your bed. <laughs> what? Don't get me wrong, I love this house. By far, my favorite house that I've ever lived in with my mom. There's just a lot of other things that make us all want to move. Like, she needs more room because... Exactly. I'm about to prove the point, okay? These neighbors right here, the murderers, if you guys uh, saw that video, apparently they had someone live with them that killed three people or was involved in it. They have this big black dog, right? Every time we let Rose out at night, she'll go right over to there and she'll just fight and bark with that dog all night long and it's super annoying. And then we can't bring her inside in her kennel because then she'll bark and whatever else. And if you guys don't know, my mom is a super, super light sleeper. Like, you go in at 2 in the morning and be like, Mom! She'll be up. It's so weird. And we've lived in this house for like three years, which is probably the longest we've stayed in one house. And I'm not 100% sure, but I am pretty sure that all of my family wants to move. My brother, my mom, my sister, everyone wants to go. Even Rose, right? No? Okay. I just hate having everyone know where we live. I just don't feel safe all the time here. Like, imagine, everyone knows where you live. It's basically like a target on your back, but I don't think anyone's gonna do anything anyway. I mean, who would wanna mess with me? Oh, God. But I'm just saying, all we have is a fence around our yard. It's not hard to get in. I've walked outside before at night that I haven't talked about any of this, because I hate, like, talking down on fans, or if you even can call them a fan. Like, people have jumped over my fence and have been on my trampolines. I've come out because I've heard, like, the springs and stuff, and then they just run and jump back over the fence. Like, people just do that. They just walk into our yard. It's like, they think because I'm, like, a YouTuber or something that they can just hop over and everything that's mine is theirs or something. I just don't get it and holy crap, there's a lot of leaves in this foam pit. I did not know there were that many. Yet another reason to leave. We could get an actually good foam pit in this new house. I don't know anything about this house or where it's going to be located. We're about to go look right now. But if it has any sort of land to it, we can make a freaking trampoline foam pit extravaganza park. Hello. Hi. See, this is called cleaning. Oh. Is this my toothpaste that I've been looking for forever? Yes. Told you I bought some. Thank you. God, I've been out for like two weeks. I've been using Taylor's. Goodbye house forever. Just kidding, we kind of have to sell ours first and stuff. You think the people who buy our house will like the glass and stuff? Yeah, and the... Never mind. <laughs> We're not gonna bad mouth our house. Yeah, we probably shouldn't say all the bad <laughs> things about it. Taylor. What? Taylor, he locked it. Wow. We can't get in. Dude, I bet I can drift right here and there won't be any cops. Mom? What? We could just duct tape our address and make it like a permanent censored bar. Yeah, we're not giving it out to the public this time. Oh, Rose can over. Hey, we don't need to get another dog. Rose has four. <laughs> <laughs> There's some friends. <laughs> Is that a garage or a second house? Will I get a park inside? Hi, doggo. Go follow all your other friends. Whoa. Wow. Tristan, come here. All right, come out. He's gay, so it was funny. I call that room. I call this one. No, seriously, it's mine. This is mine. I call this one, seriously. The outside of this house looks super boring, and then the inside is, like, huge. There's no desk in this one. Why can't I have the one with the desk? Because you already have a desk and stuff. Yeah, but I have to move it. Hmm. Dude, I could do so many videos of jumping off here. Right? Hey, Mom. I know, right? Wherever we live better have a balcony. Another room. So this would be your room? Yeah. Cool toilet lid. That's a deal breaker right there. Have enough closets? Jeez. What is this? Well, you can have a hot tub in here. Hot I tub suppose. room? Or, uh... Aha! <laughs> Dude. There's something growing on top of the pool, but that can be fixed. 
Oh, I don't think I could make the jump from here. It's too far. That's a really big bummer. I could make some kind of contraption to get out to the pool though. I know it. This is pretty awesome. I still want to love the house that we choose though because I'm only 16 and I'll still be living at home for probably at least another year and a half or two years, which is a long time. I could probably make it if I jumped off the roof. No. This could be our foam pit. No. We have enough foam to fill it. Let's go check out the basement. Whoever has the basement could have like the entire basement because you'd have the only bedroom yeah. down here. Hmm. That's a cool hiding spot. Another bathroom. And is this a closet? Nope. Storage room. It's not that big. Oh, yeah, it is. It goes all the way around. Hey, and there's a cat door, but we can make it bigger. Yeah, I don't think Rose would be able to fit through that. They have awesome hide and seek places here, though, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Guess what, Mom? What? That is perfect double backflip height right there. Yeah, see I would just convert that to a big double door and then you'd have room for all three vehicles. Do we get to keep Santa Claus though? There's a what? A little creek in the back. That's my favorite part. How is this not sold really? How good's the Wi-Fi? Well, have you seen the video of me at Blake's where I jumped off their roof into their pool? One. Yes. Do you see how far I went? It's possible. I guess if the basement was mine, I'd be closer to the pool for one. I don't even know what I'd use this room for. This would be my whole bedroom. That'd suck for you guys just to be able to walk down into my room. Why don't you make this your room? You can put like because that's scary. I'd have to put curtains over that and that's yeah. a lot of work. Hey, hey, it has a ceiling titty. It does. Hey, will you help me get a million views real quick? You're not gonna get a million now because you failed. Oh crap. All right guys on this edition of Brungart house shopping the next one We're looking at does not have a pool. Oh There goes half our clickbait. This one's even further away from society and it's way fancier But again guys no pool. <laughs> it does look like a medieval Can castle <laughs> What is this this is from a horror movie dude they have freaking gargoyles <laughs> This is so weird. All right, the carpet is horribly ugly. Look at the little fountain. They have down there. What the heck? <laughs> this is so open. It's got a freaking rainforest. It legit has a greenhouse. What the heck? Oh my god. This is crazy. Another bathroom. Oh my god. Guys, this freaking house is insane. Closet, I'm guessing? Nope, just a uh, casual attic. <laughs> I almost got lost up there. Dude, holy crap. There's a pond out there and everything. This house is insane, but it's just like too old. I haven't even looked at this other half of the house. Master bedroom right here. What in the heck? There's a fireplace <laughs> in the bathroom. Fireplace in the bathroom. <laughs> this is so legit. No ceiling titties though. There's a basement as well. Big storage room, kind of scary. Oh my gosh, Taylor, come look at how big this is. There's a bar, fire escape. I don't know, I don't really like this house as much. It's like cooler on the outside because it's from 1860. There's another door. Shelter? No! Wine, Wine cellar. cellar. It smells like a church. Okay, this is like the oldest. <laughs> Mom, this house is from 1800s, has a wine cellar and a greenhouse. All right, where's the next house? Come on. There's gotta be one more. All house shows have three houses the couple get to choose from. All right, we're gonna go look at one more. Why'd I put up two? We're gonna go look at one more. I don't think we're gonna get this one. I'm using this one as the thumbnail though. It's the coolest looking one. And here's the last one. It looks way cooler on the other side, like on the front. Taylor, what'd you say right when we walked in here? I don't like it. Let's <laughs> <laughs> make a nice wedding dress. <laughs> oh, Taylor. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what is this for? Put a big book? It's for me, duh. <laughs> Holy crap, look at this closet. You know how people say not my president? This is not my house. <laughs> <laughs> Upstairs, there is a ton of room. Downstairs. Hmm, if the other house had this floor, it'd be a perfect castle. Bathroom, closet, something. First one is my favorite, guys. Same dog. Same. All right, let's go buy it. Let's go home. We're back home in our messy home. Oh yeah, what's up? Hey, we just house shopped. You'd like the first one the most, I know it. Will you quit hitting my camera with your tail? <laughs> Gonna help me with my outro this time? All right, she doesn't wanna help. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Pretty slow, I mean, we didn't really do anything besides look at houses, but that was the point. You clicked on it, you knew what was happening. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Will you give me a second? Don't forget to leave a like and share with your friends if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. It ain't my fault.
be tripping. 